So what happened with FTX? Why can that not happen with us? Specifically, reason. I think that's a great example of the pathway to hell is filled with good intentions. And this is also a story of false realities. It's almost everything we've been discussing. Yeah. You, once you get yourself into a hole, you try and find your way out of that hole by taking bigger risks and you think you'll find your way out and then it gets too big. And before you know it, you're so far deep down that rabbit hole that you, you can't come back. I think that is the most important thing to be aware of. For us, we have our Friday false reality meetings, meetings yeah. right? Where we all discuss internally what is our own false realities and how do we rectify those? And I think those are the things that are really, really important. I think it really comes down to what is the motive and the drive and the intelligence. Because when you are an intelligent person, you know that any shortcuts or any stupid decisions will never work in this day and age. Yeah. The world is small. Everything is transparent. Especially in, in our field, everything is transparent. Everything's transparent. And you're never going to really gain and create something big on something that has no good foundation. It'll never work. It's impossible. It's not like you'll get away with it. It's just silly and stupid. So if you have half a sense, you will not do it. And you will keep that ship running smooth and clean because unless the ethics are at the highest, that will fall like a house of cards. Anything you build, it's just the world we live in. We, we live in a world of cynics and doubt. And even the slightest off, you know, and especially when things go wrong, everyone's great when everything's yeah. going right, right? But when things go wrong, how people handle a bad situation is really what will show true character in the toughest times.